Hear it, hear it, and see it, see it when you want it. On demand, audio and video at 630WPRO.com. It's a very, very major change. And the first thing it does is it provides for another tax cut for the people at the very top. Uh, the people in the millionaires and billionaires. Another tax cut, not just the Bush tax cuts, but it's actually an additional tax cut for people at the very top. And he says that it's revenue neutral, which means it's not going to generate any more new taxes. So if you lower taxes for the people at the very top, how do you make up for that in this budget? By raising taxes on the middle class and by cutting things that benefit seniors. So that's the first thing it does, which I think is a mistake. The second thing is it, that it does is that it uh, provides for very serious cuts in um, Medicare and Medicaid. It repeals in its entirety the Health Care Reform Act, which would be uh, for over 21,000 Rhode Islanders, the donut hole would be reinstated. So it would bring back the prescription donut hole, uh, which the Health Care Reform Act is beginning to phase out. So it would mean prescription drugs will be more expensive for our seniors. It provides for uh, cuts in, uh, and it really ends the guarantee of the Medicare program. The Medicare program today is a guarantee and it provides care for our seniors. What it does is it turns the program into a voucher, but the voucher, the value of the voucher doesn't keep pace with the increased cost of health care. So what happens is it shifts those increased costs onto seniors. And the Congressional Budget Office, which is a nonpartisan office, says it will result in less quality care and higher expenses for our seniors. I think we have a responsibility to protect the Medicare guarantee, to strengthen it and make sure it's there for all future generations. And the, this, this budget ends that guarantee in terms of the voucher system, which will impose higher costs on seniors and less, and less quality care, which is a terrible idea uh, and something that we're going to fight against very hard on, on the, in the Democratic Caucus. Um, in addition to that, the tax cut that I talked about uh, provides, on average, a tax cut of $150,000 uh, to the billionaires in this country. Um, it provides cuts in Pell Grants, which of course are named after our great late Senator Clay Pell that help young people access higher education. So it cuts Pell Grants, it cuts education and job training by a total of $166 billion over 10 years. It cuts transportation funding by 25%, highway funding in particular, investments in rebuilding the infrastructure of our country, and it provides, continues to provide, billions of dollars in subsidies to big oil companies. So think about this budget. It ends the guarantee of Medicare, creates a voucher system, slashes education funding, slashes investments in rebuilding our roads, bridges, transit systems, um, and provides another tax cut for the richest people in the country. Keeps in place tax breaks that are helping companies ship American jobs overseas and keeps subsidies for big oil companies. So this proposal, proposed by Republicans and authored by Paul Ryan, I believe sets the wrong priorities for our country. We have to, number one, ensure that we protect our seniors and our veterans. We need to be sure we strengthen and protect Medicare and Social Security. These two programs reflect our values as a country. We decided that when you reach a certain age and you've worked hard your whole life, that you should live your retirement years with dignity and without the fear of worrying about whether or not you can have your basic needs be met. That's how we created Social Security. We created Medicare because we decided when you reach a certain age that we wanted to ensure that you had access to affordable health care and that you could be healthy and not worry about accessing quality health care. Those are values that reflect the great values of this country. We should be proud of those programs and we should commit ourselves to fighting for and protecting them for you and for all future generations. And people like to call them entitlements. I call them earned benefits. Those are things you have because you earn them as a result of a lifetime of hard work. And we have to protect them. And we cannot be trying to make major changes to those programs while we're trying to give another tax cut to millionaires, subsidies to big oil companies, keeping in place tax breaks that are shooting American jobs overseas. 
So I think this Republican budget proposal is wrong. I voted against it. I fought against it. Uh, I expect the Senate will reject it. But I want you to know about it because there's been a lot of conversation about the Ryan budget, the Republican budget, and the effect it will have particularly on seniors, particularly on young people who are in school. And I wanted you to have this information um, uh, and to know what I'm doing, what I was doing. I'm sorry. So I'm going to stop there. Uh,